to the awakening. I hope you're well today. As I can't get all these new hosts and hostesses, I've got to be all of them <laughs> at the moment. But I'm starting to bring on new people, so that's getting exciting. And you will get to meet them in the next couple of weeks or whatever. Um, so today, taking you from the darkness into the light. Hope you like my new setup. <laughs> um, so, what do I want to talk about today? <clears throat> um, let me think. Um, let me see. I'm wearing the kaftan that I wore for the life story of Maria Callas, the life story of the most famous opera singer in the world. Um, so I suppose I could talk a little bit about the darkness of her life, which mirrored mine, which was the wars. We both grew up in wars and had a really difficult childhood. She grew up in Greece. I grew up in Israel. Um, I had a very difficult childhood. I was taken from Ireland to Israel as a child. And it didn't really help growing up like that. Um, actually, it was awful. I hated going to a war zone. I hated living like that. I don't think any child should grow up like that. I think it's terrible to bring children up in a situation where they're in fear all the time. And it just wasn't good for me. It wasn't a good childhood. Didn't enjoy it. As a matter of fact, I hated it. And um, similar to, as I say, Maria Callas, the opera singer, uh, she was taken as well from her childhood home in America back to Greece to the wars. I was taken from Dublin, beautiful community, safe community, to wars. And that's the darkness, you know? That's how you grow up. That's all you know. That's how your body is, is geared to be in fight and flight all the time. Your mind is in fight and flight all the time. Because, you know, if you're there from the age of seven to when you leave in your early 20s and you've gone in the army as well, you're not going to be that calm, easy, loving person, are you? You're going to have all this baggage. This is the darkness. You're going to have all this baggage. You're going to have years and years of not sleeping, of fear, of panic, of going down to air, air raid shelters. And also, we've been brought up with a culture of being Jewish. Put that together, and your your whole life is fear and guilt and panic. And because I didn't really get the good side, I didn't get enough of the good side. I didn't get enough of the fun and the weather because my body didn't fit the norm. I wasn't skinny, and so I didn't feel comfortable going to the beach. I didn't enjoy myself like a lot of the other kids did. I didn't have friends. Um, my family were always working just to bring in a living to feed us. And there was abuse. So that, a lot of darkness, a lot of darkness, a lot of dead stuff. As Laurie Ladd would call it, molasses. And in a way, I feel like that's what's going on in the world now. The world is such a mess. We don't know what to believe anymore. You see these um, protests in Hyde Park yesterday, and you see the policemen, not one of them wearing a mask. And your brain, if you've got one left, says, how could this be a serious virus, a pandemic, when not one policeman is wearing a mask? So what's going to happen when they get sick? Or if they pass on the virus, what about health and safety, which is insane in this country? What about all the lawyers are going to jump on it and sue all of these police. Come on, come on. You think they haven't thought about that? It's because there is no serious pandemic. And if you don't know that by now, then there's something wrong with you. I'm sorry. If you're stuck there watching the media and watching all the fear mongering and all the rubbish, then there's something wrong with you. If you don't know yet, that there's sex slaving, 500,000 children. This is the darkness. Children, 500,000 kids being sex slaved a year 
at least, if you don't know about the mole children, if you haven't, you're not watching Mitchell Gerber, uh, Nicholas Gerber, talking about what they're doing to the beautiful Falun Gong, Falun Dafa. That's the darkness. So the light is, how about we do a Falun Dafa exercise, a nice exercise, a gentle exercise, just to bring us into balance. And then we read the cards, and then later on, I'm doing a, an encounters workshop, my musical, we're reading act two. And so, and of course the miracle says, heaven is the decision I must make. So it means to come into the light today and try my best to stay in the light. Yes, let the darkness come up, the chaos. Uh, you're watching it as, as you go on social media. I'm calling us all together all those people that have got brains to do something positive to take us from the darkness into the light to set out some structures some plans some rules to get our needs met so we get listened to so hopefully we'll be doing that soon so get in touch with me you can contact me at moving on tv1 at gmail.com if I get kicked off YouTube the same way I got kicked off Facebook, I'm now on Hope Glory on Facebook. You can join me on there. Hope Glory Productions is the production company that makes these programs. Um, but if I get kicked off YouTube because I'm controversial and I'm trying to come up with uh, solutions and wake you up and teach you what's really going on, then please join me on BitChute. You can go on Hope Glory. Uh, on BitChute or Moving On TV is on there, okay? You can get the links from me. So again, we're gonna do some Falun Dafa today, which is beautiful, gentle, like we go, what I'm learning. So just bring your hands in front of you and just relax. And we're gonna ask the angels and guides and love to protect this transmission. So the only people that watch it are people who want to wake up, people that are kind and loving and are questioning the narrative. I'm thinking there's something not right here. I'm going to really start doing my research. Maybe I'll look into Q or something. Anyway, I won't talk now. But let's just close, have a gentle Falun Dafa. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on. You can find the website. It's en.falundafa.org. Falundafa.org. When you go on there, you click videos and audio, and it will literally show you a video. There's a video now. The swastika is actually not, it was hijacked by the Nazis. It's actually a good thing, it's a positive thing. It's a certain way that when you use the energy in that way, you release a lot of diseases and blocks and you come into balance, okay? And these people are being massacred for their belief. And in the UK, we still can do Falun Dafa, still, I don't know for how long. So I'm going to do an exercise here and you can follow me. Okay. Separate the hands from the Hosher position and extend them downward towards the lower front of the body. When the two arms are parallel and straight, they should form an angle of about 30 degrees with the body. If you follow me Stretch and listen, the whole body. push the head upward and press the feet downward. You do a sit and down and down for about two to three seconds. the entire body, with the hands to sure in front of the chest. I feel it. Breathe normally. Separate both hands and move them diagonally downward to the sides of the body. Extend the arms, forming an angle of about 30 degrees with the body. Then push the head upward and press the feet downward. Stretch hard for about two to three seconds. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
relax the entire body. Move both hands to Hoshu in front of the chest. Separate the hands from the Hoshu position and extend them behind the body with both palms turning to face backward. When the arms have reached behind the body, stretch the whole body. Push the head upward and press the feet downward. Stretch hard for about two to three seconds. Relax the entire body. Move hands to hush her in front of the chest. Separate the hands from Hoshu position and push forwards with the palms. Have the fingers point upward and keep the arms at shoulder level. Once the arms are stretched in a straight line, push the head upwards and press the feet downward. Stretch hard for about two to three seconds. the entire body. Move the hands to hush her in front of the chest. Slowly move the hands downwards, turning the palms to face the abdomen. When the hands reach the lower abdomen, overlap the hands. For males, the left hand goes on the inside. For females, the right hand goes on the inside. Have the palm of one hand face the back of the other, keeping a distance of about three centimeters between the hands and between the inner hand and the lower abdomen. Keep the hands overlapped like this for a while and then form the J Yin position. Exercise two, follow the standing stance. I'm going to do sitting down. You're disabled, I'm going to show you. Okay. And we're listening to the practitioner explain it. In their language. Let's watch Master Lee teach the exercise. Preparation. Ji Yin can join the hands as before. Slowly right. raise right. the hands and separate them. When the hands are in front of the head, the palms should face toward your face at eyebrow level. Have the fingertips of the two hands point toward each other. Form a circle with the arms and relax the whole body. The Fallen Standing Stance is Fallen Dafa's second exercise. It is a tranquil standing exercise composed of four wheel holding positions. The positions in this exercise are rather simple. Each needs to be held for quite a long time. Those who have just begun learning will initially find that their arms feel heavy and achy. But after doing the exercise, That's it. their it's whole so body simple, will feel guys. very relaxed, so with none of the fatigue felt after physical work. Hold it for as long as you can, and then just come back into the balance position. Holding the wheel in front of the lower abdomen, slowly bring both hands down from the previous position. Keep the wheel holding position unchanged yeah, as the hands reach the lower abdomen. Keep a distance of about 10 centimeters between the hands and the abdomen. Hold the elbows forward, keeping the underarms open. Have the palms face upward, with the fingers of the hands pointing toward one another. The arms should form a circle. When practitioners increase the frequency and duration of the exercise, they may sense a fallen rotating between their arms. What you do Doing the fallen standing stance exercise frequently will help to completely open up the body and will enhance one's cultivation energy. And you start to move the, energy. the fallen standing stance yeah. exercise is a comprehensive means of cultivation that okay. increases wisdom, raises a person's back. level, and strengthens supernormal powers. And one more the exercise, exercise is simple, you can do. yet what it practices is quite a lot and comprehensive. You do this to commemorate 
a beautiful Helen Daffa, brothers and sisters. Slowly raised the arms, keeping the circular shape unchanged. When the hands are above the head, the fingers of the two hands should point towards each other. The arms form a circle. Keep the shoulders, arms, elbows, and wrists relaxed. When doing the fallen standing stance exercise, do the movements naturally. Do not alter the positions. Neither should you sway during the exercise, much less purposely seek to sway. Holding the wheel on both sides of the head. From the position of holding the wheel overhead, slowly drop the hands to the sides of the head. The palms should face the ears with the forearms upright and the shoulders relaxed. Each of the four fallen standing stance positions should be done for a long time. The duration of each position can differ from person to person. But in all cases, the longer they are very, held, very the better. simple exercises. And we hope you stay balanced and less caught up in what's going on in the world. The madness of the world. To end, slowly lower the arms and overlap the hands in front of the lower abdomen. The position is the same as before. Exercise 3. Penetrating the two cosmic extremes. Okay. You can get this all on the internet. You can get this on the internet. Um, if you go on falandafa.org, you can learn all the exercises. So let's do a how to stay sane in a crazy world. Well, that helps. That is going to help. And today it's really to commemorate the beautiful Mitch Nicholas Gerber, um, my friend who has given us a wonderful interview for Living on TV, which I'm editing in full now. Part one is on there, but I'm editing the whole interview, which will go on in the next few hours. All being well, please go. There's a crackling at the moment, I don't know why. Anyway, let's choose our how to stay sane in the crazy world. As I said, today, Course in Miracles is that heaven is the choice I must make. And let's have a look at what I've got here. The news is a no-no today. <laughs> Card 16. Today you have chosen one of the best ways to stay sane. You're being asked not to watch the news. The news is full of despair, it makes us so unhappy. It shows us an awful world we cannot help in any way. It's disempowering and the opposite of what we want to become. So instead of watching the news today, I ask you to find some happy news or inspiring news instead. Look for the positive stories, but whatever you do, try to not watch the news. I promise you that if there is something you really need to know, You'll find out from friends, the internet. I never watch the news. I'm going to do my best to abstain from watching the news today. Instead, I'll watch Lauren's moving on TV. <laughs> so there you go. Hope you have a beautiful day today. I hope you can do those gentle, easy, little um, Falun Dafa exercises. Join Moving On TV. Contact me at movingontv1 at gmail.com. As I said, I don't know why there's a lot of crackling going on. <laughs>